I knew that something was up when Dorian let me get away. I thought she was jealous of my female fans, but after I completed my television ad campaign for the good folks at Have a Seat Hemorrhoid Pads, I received a lot of adulation and praise, and my female fans threw themselves at me, naturally. But then I realized it was something more. It had put a strain on my relationship with Dorian. And I saw that Dorian found her true self with Amelia. I couldn't stand in the way of that. I did what any man would do. I stepped aside and I let love live. I think I've got everything I need. Are you sure? I've got more. Would you like more? Thanks for that. Pretending that Dorian is marrying her campaign manager? Oh, you've got to admit, this did up the ante. I don't think Charlie and Vicky are going to be able to beat that. Unless maybe one of them has a sex change. Well, this is about more than beating Mrs. Banks. You obviously don't know Dorian. No, this is about giving everybody the right to be married under the law. I don't know if that's really all it's chalked up to be. A few marriages of mine I wish were illegal. Yeah, but you did it for love, right? Well, Excuse me. You are gay, aren't you? Yes, I, I am. And don't you want the same rights and privileges that everybody else has? You know what I want doesn't really have anything to do with this? No, of course it does. We're doing this for you, Oliver. We're doing this for everyone. What, by lying about your feelings? I don't know. I thought, I thought we were past all that. No one asked you to lie. Yeah, well, you're sure not telling the truth. Oh, because I'm not in love with Dorian? I'm pretty sure she's not in love with you either. Who are we to define what makes a marriage? Isn't that exactly what we're fighting against? No, this is different. How? They tell us that our feelings aren't legitimate, that we don't have the right to marry, to have families. Who receive the same tax credits, insurance benefits. Yeah, yes, yes, I believe in all of that, but why use a straight woman to get them? And believe me, she is straight. Funny story, I tried to get her into a menage a trois once. Dismal failure. If we get what we want, what difference does it make? Because you're asking people to trust you. No, I'm asking people to trust our stance on the issue. We never lied about that. And you really think that'll make a difference when people find out the truth? How are they going to find out, Oliver? Are you going to tell them? Look, you're asking if I'm going to out you. Will I tell all of Land you that Dorian's the straightest woman I've ever known? <laughs> you know, don't worry. That's not something I'd do. Then what is? Excuse me? You overheard Amelia and I talking at the Buenos Dias Cafe this morning. Nick, just let it go. No, okay. you were suspicious of me earlier. So obviously he told you something. Oliver didn't mean any harm. Okay, then maybe next time he can come to me with his concerns. Look, Nick, I'm a cop, okay? I, I thought it might be something illegal. What, at the rally? You said Dr. Lord was your target, and then Amelia mentioned pulling the trigger. We were speaking... Metaphorically. Oliver didn't know that, okay? He, he thought that you you were planning an, uh, an assassination. Oh, an assassination? Right, so you pretend to be my friend. No, I wasn't pretending. He did it for me, okay? He knows I have to stay out of trouble. Okay, so Oliver is protecting you from me? This I mean, just like he tried to protect me from you. This is different. He overheard something he thought I should know. And you think people should know that my engagement to Dorian isn't real? Look, Oliver, we're not committing any crimes. People get married for all kinds of reasons. Don't you think fighting for our rights is as good as any? I know I want to marry the man I love. And someday, when you meet the right guy... Fish? Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. Um, I gotta go. Police business. Oliver, are you with us or against us? You should probably put him down as undecided. Do you think Oliver will rat us out or not? Oliver's his own person. Always has been. That means he'll rat you out. He'll do what he thinks is right. Does anybody else find this ironic? 
I mean, after all these years pretending to be straight, it's... What, what are you saying? I'm saying that I find it oddly convenient that Oliver's principles only kick in when it's somebody else that's lying. You know nothing about him, Nick. Can we just stay focused? We can't afford to have this blow up in our faces. What do you want to do? I want Oliver contained. <laughs> contained? He's a loose cannon. Don't look at me. I'm not his keeper. Oh, well, that's not what I heard. I hear he's crazy about you. <laughs> you told her? She's my friend. Oh, yeah, well, at least you tell her everything. I didn't exactly think she'd repeat it. Guys, let's play he said, he said a little bit later. Especially if we can use this to our advantage. You want me to use Oliver's feelings for me to get him to go along with no, this? No, that's not what Amelia's saying. Just... Get him to see how important this is. I can't make him do something he doesn't want to do, Nick. Just try. Okay? Look, don't you want to be free to marry the man you love someday? <laughs> <laughs>